Okay, we're out on, with our roving shop cam, and today I thought I'd talk to you about wheel alignment, what goes on, why we do it, and how it's done. And I'm on location here at Dunn Tire, Maine uh, in Clarence, Maine in Transit, actually. And I got my old friend Ray Winarski here. Come on up, Ray. Ray's in alignment. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good, good, good. good. Now, Ray's an alignment technician here at Dunn Tire, as is Anton Biosevich, who we're going to look at doing his work. And uh, why don't we just take a walk right over here and get a camera on what Anton's doing. You can explain yeah. what's going on. All right, let's take a look here, what we got here. Right now, Anton is adjusting what is gonna be called total tow. Um, okay. What total tow does for you, basically, that's, that's most of your tire wear on the vehicle. That's about 85 to 90% of your wear on the tires. Gotcha. Um, tow is one of the big ones. Um, right now, that's what he's setting on there. Now, when he's done setting that adjustment and gets that all set, we're gonna go to this adjustment right here. This is our steer ahead bar. Okay, bar-er. now stop, because <laughs> uh, if we can take a look at Anton, he's going up a ladder and going into the truck. He made a minor adjustment going into the truck. What's he doing? Right now, he's just gonna shake the play out of the steering wheel. You're gonna start it up, get everything back together, get all the play out of the gearbox, especially on an older vehicle like that. You wanna make sure you get the best, you know, getting the best steering wheel being the straightest, and it'll give you your best alignment. You wanna do that a few times just to make sure you get everything out of the wheel there for you. So what's happening is he started up the truck. He's got the power steering working so he can properly straighten the wheels. Yes, yes. And then go back to resetting it again. Yep. He, he moves the bar, goes up, straightens it out, yep. comes back down, makes an adjustment. Yes, Tom, even even if it's only the total toll one, which isn't really nothing to do with your steer head, you yeah. still want to shake it out to get your, you know, it's, it's you want to do that two to three times per, even though you're doing the total toe and the steer head. Okay. You still want to do both just to get all the play out of the gearbox to give you your final set on there. Very nice. Yes. Now, show me what's going on here on the, on this uh, 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 screen. This is going to be your driver's side. This is your driver's side camber, your driver's side caster, and this is going to be your total toe. This one's a little different than most vehicles. Okay. Um, basically, what you want to do when you do this, since camber and caster is good, we want to leave that alone. Total toe, as you can see, is pretty much right where we need it to be. Yeah. And now we're going to start working on the steer head, which is going to start going in the vehicle and giving you the start up and giving you the uh, running out to shake in that wheel there for you to give you a proper alignment. Okay. Now, what's what what is uh, spec on the total toe on this? Spec on your total toe on this vehicle. If you want to take a look on the camera here again, we're going to go from 0.08, which is our minimum, right. and then we're going to go to 0.44, which is our maximum. So anywhere in between these two numbers is considered good that won't cause anywhere on your tires. And it's ideal that you get it in the middle because yeah. then each wheel is evenly adjusted. Yes, and when we align it next time, it makes it a little easier for us because, you know, the more you get it dead center, it'll hold a lot better for you. Especially with the, you know, that's a lot of, you got almost a half a degree here, you know what I mean? So right. the better you get it in the, you know, the more you get it in the middle, chances are the more it's going to hold up for you in the long run and you're going to do a good job. Now, you referred to the two angles, camber and caster. I yeah. think it's important that we explain to people what that is sure. by just kind of walking over here to the truck. Sure. Now, if we can take a picture of the tire straight on like this, talk to me about camber. What is camber? Well, if we're looking at camber now, let me get my hand in here. I'll kind of give you an idea how the wheel is going to tilt. Um, coming out this way, if the wheel sits like this, this is what we're going to call positive camber. Right. If the wheel comes in and kicks in this way, this is negative camber. Um, it's about 10 to 15% of your tire wear. If it's out worse than that, like if you get into an accident or put struts in, which will bring that out quite sure. a bit, that'll add, it'll be a little more worse than that, obviously. It'll okay. give you more than 10 to 15%. But as a rule, that's about what you get out of a camber adjustment. 10 so to 15 too, tire wear. too much positive camber for too long. You're going to have outside rib wear on a tire, yep. too much negative camber for too long. Gonna With the, the tire inside. tilting in like this and looking like a lame duck, yep. you're going to be looking at negative camber yes. wear. Yes, that's what it'll do exactly. And Correct. wear will be on the inside bar. Inside if it's sitting negative, okay. outside if it's, if it's positive. Yes, Got sir. it. And now caster, I'm sure you want to talk about caster now. Um, caster, what caster is, the best way to explain caster, people like to go by the old way of the bike, the 20-inch bike with the forks. Um, the way, the proper way to explain it, if you're sitting in a vehicle, camber, when you look at it, one tire sits a little farther ahead of the other one. That's going to be your caster adjustment. Um, what you usually want for road crown and things like that is you want the left side to be a little lower to take care of road crown. That way you don't get the pull and everything like that. So if you set it about a half degree lower on the, on the driver's side than the other side, that's pretty much a perfect set for a caster. That takes care of usually your road crown and all sorts of pulls. Now, um, how are these adjustments done? I mean, uh, what, what mechanical aspect? Um, on this vehicle, there's really nothing you could do about it. It's a solid, solid axle. All you're getting on this on this old guy here is the total toe adjustment and the steer ahead. 
Okay. Um, on another vehicle, it, it could be a lot different. Some vehicles, you actually got to loosen the lower control arm and shift it that way. Mm -hmm. um, on the older cars, Tom, like say like the uh, you know 68 Mustangs, cars like that, you actually got the long caster rod that comes in, and that's adjustable by doing that, by pulling the arm in or forward. Okay, yes. gotcha. Yes. Now, so, I mean, they're all different. Most front-wheel drive vehicles are not caster adjustable. Most vehicles. Okay. So uh, when you got worn parts, you got to align it again. Yep. yep. You, uh, and if you have worn parts in the vehicle and you try to align it, you're not going to get a good alignment. No, no. You figure you got a loose tie right on and, and the tire is moving. The, these things are so pronounced. I mean, they, they're going with a hundredth of an inch. And if you got a you know half an inch of play in your tie right on, obviously that side that's loose, you're not going to get that side right. You know, what I mean, that's why they want you to have a tight front end plus safety reasons too. You know, that's more so the biggest reason safety. But yes. You know what, Ray? You really gave us a lot of good insight on alignment. We appreciate it. Thanks yeah. for taking time out Not of your problem. busy day. Not I appreciate problem. it. Ray Winarski alignment technician at Dunn Tire. Thank you. One thing I wanted to say, Tom, Caster will not wear any kind of tires as well. It'll okay. just it'll, it'll just give you a pull if it's out bad enough. Yes. Okay. On location at Dunn Tire, I'm Tom Torbjornson.